Okay, this will be the review of the snow broom and why you should clean your solar panels in the winter and get rid of the snow. Okay, this is the only bad part about having a solar system is in the winter uh, we got two to three inches of snow and you can see my panels are completely covered so I'm making uh, almost no power. So I gotta go up there and clean them off but instead of uh, climbing up on the roof and uh, brooming them off with a broom I bought what they call a snow broom and uh, I really like it. It's totally worth uh, every nickel uh, that it costs and allows me to go clean my panels without having to bust my ass on the roof. No broom. This is basically uh, the attachment. There's a little uh, threaded screw insert and you'll attach a uh, telescopic pole such as this into that. So I bought this off of uh, Amazon the under, I think it's a uh, 30 foot some odd extension pole. I'll leave a link to that in the uh, comment section and you guys can buy one if you need to. I found that if you buy this separate from this, you get a better discount versus buying you know this and this at the uh, online um, store at the whoever makes this. I can't remember who it is. But anyway, um, I bought them separately. I'll say about 50 bucks. But anyway, so I'll put those in the link. Again, you can get the snow broom, uh, the blue part, from the store itself and then get the, the pole, the younger pole, 30 foot from Amazon. It's usually about 90 bucks and I think the snow broom is somewhere, somewhere 30 or 40 bucks. So basically this is it. You just screw it on to the end of the extension and you're ready to go. Okay, so the extension pole is about 30 feet. My roof is uh, roughly 22 feet. So it gives me plenty of uh, extension to get up to the top panel and clean it off. Okay, basically you take the snow broom and extend the pole, it's not rocket science. Sometimes you can go from the top and pull all the snow down depending on how sticky it is under the panel. In this case I tried that. I'll push the broom all the way to the top and try and pull a kind of a sidewalk of snow down from the panel. Sometimes it works and it all comes down, sometimes it doesn't. Um, if it doesn't then I just try to work on the lower panels, clean those off and then kind of walk my way up to the top panels because that way uh, once I get that bottom panel cleaned off, the uh, snow from the top panel will kind of slide right over the, the bottom uh, panel that was cleaned off and it makes it a little bit easier and sometimes you got to use a, a chopping motion. So here you can see I'm trying to pull a kind of a spot down from the panel, um, try to create like a little sidewalk but obviously the snow isn't completely coming off so I just work on the bottom panel now and just kind of chop the snow down and basically you know, clean that first row of bottom panels and then kind of move my way up. So that's kind of the secret to cleaning the panels. I will warn people, it is an arm workout or a shoulder workout rather. Uh, there's uh, lots of lots of energy expended. So most people say, why don't you just leave the snow up there? What's the big deal? Well, if you look at my energy monitoring system here on Friday 2-5, I produce 60 kilowatt hours of energy, which is about $5. Leaving snow on there for two weeks would probably run another $70 in lost production. So again, the key behind this is, you know, produce your own power, become energy independent, and not rely on the utilities to, to gouge you for basically energy that's free that's coming from the sun. So the more energy I get, the less I have to uh, pay any utilities or people in general. So that, that's why I like to keep my panels clean, optimizing the, the power production and uh, sticking it to the man, so to speak. Uh, I like to produce all my own stuff. I like to do all my own stuff. I don't like to be dependent on other people for any of my any of my, any of my needs. So that's the theory behind all this. Okay, so here's a shot of the first row of panels I got done. Uh, the residual on the side there, that'll burn off with the sun uh, really quickly. So the idea is just to get the panels clean. You're not worried about getting them perfectly clean and those are the rest of the rows I have to work on there. All right, here's the end result. Panels are all clean. The remaining pieces of snow will quickly melt off as the panels heat up from the sun and I'll start producing power again. So this is uh, one of the drawbacks of having solar again. You gotta clean it in the winter, but not a big deal. All right, there you have it. Please like and subscribe, comment, and share your thoughts. Thanks.